welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be cleaning up. So we're going to be starting off in my kids room. As you can see, this used to be Jadonia's room. If you watch Jadonia's video on her channel, you will see her getting like a get ready with me video and stuff like that. And she went to sleep in one of her videos or something and I, I was also in the room. But I redid their room completely because now it's not just Jadonia's room, it's Jadonia and Christiana's room. So that Christiana can stop being in the room with me. And I made this room black and white. I did not film or record this timing, me doing the rooms. I should have, but I didn't. So I just want to show you guys really quick. A quick glance of their room. It is black and white theme. The bottom is chalk. As you can see, they already written on it. So the entire bottom of the entire room is chalk. I painted everything myself my husband helped out a little bit but mostly everything i painted i put this little stuff up this little decor stuff right there the girl boy life is better with a friend got that stuff from dollar tree and put it on the wall give it a nice you know make it like it's writing on the wall that's with black the jnc is what i've been here for a long time and i just put that on the walls since it's for johnny and cristiano or you know jesus christ anyways um then I have those as well, that one and that one on that wall. Also got from Dollar Tree. And I also have those when I put down there as well. Now I wanna go to Dollar Tree and get some more and I'm gonna end up putting them on this wall since I'm gonna be moving this bed around. And even if the bed was moved back to this position, where's that now? I still want some on that wall as well. So like I said, the black is chalk, the top is just pure white, and it took forever to paint over that pink because I don't know why, even though this is pure white, it just took so many coats. And then this is Johnny's old um, church, uh, old curtains, I just kept them in here. Well, I took them down, washed them, put them back up. But it's a light, very light blue, and since their bedding has, both has blue in it, I'm just like, that would go perfect with it. Now this is their bum bag. I got this from Walmart offline and put this together myself and put it in here so they can be able to sleep. Decorate their own little bed. Johnny still got her same bedding. Christian has his new ones as his first and first I'm having his own bed. First I'm having sheets and everything. So he has the car theme, car with the trucks and all that stuff because he's into all those things, the construction type of feel. You guys, a little blanket and stuff. So the room is colorful with everything natural that they have, which is their bedding, whatever. And for holidays, I'll probably change it up. But the room itself is black and white. Kept her old clock as well. And we redid the floors. If you remember from that video, I have carpet. I have carpet in my room. I have carpet all upstairs and on the stairs. And this room was carpeted, but we pulled that carpet up we uh, put some we call the vapor thing on the bottom and then we bought these these are laminate laminate florence we got this from an arts and my in-laws and my husband put this together as well as the new baseboards and stuff we still have yet to like caulk the baseboards and paint it but it's really not even necessary because it just really makes no difference to us right now so I wanted to give you guys just a really quick intro, intro of just this room specifically because this room has been redone. If anybody was wondering what room I'm in in my house, that is the reason why I redid the entire room. Even the closet is painted completely white as well. It has no chalk at the bottom though. It's just completely white with their clothes and stuff inside of it. This thing is trying to... It's messing up my door. I have a door stopper because I want the door, this door goes back far. And I have a door stopper and it's just gonna mess up my stuff. Either way. But right now, I'm finna just rearrange this room. So, let's go. Alright guys, hi once again. Um, the reason why I am rearranging their room is because I wanted to put their desk inside of their room. School will be starting back soon and they have the option to do e-learning. And I definitely want to choose that option since this whole coronavirus is still around. So um, I decided to just move their bed into position towards the window, which there's also a position that I did want to change at some point of timing. And I thought, why not now? 
This white thing I bought from Five Below to go above Jania's bed is a canopy. And it's really cute for, you know, to accent the bed really, really nice. So, I know I'm up on this bump bed. I hope I do not fall. <laughs> that ladder really did hurt my feet. Obviously, it's not for people of my size, but I had to get up there to change the canopy to the new location, of course. And I actually made a hole that I ended up patching up with some paint again because the command strip would not come off the way that I wanted it to. Take those clothes and put it inside of your basket that's over the gate, please. Go on the wall, Christian. Go on that wall. Oh. Go over there. Please. Go on that wall. Go clean the other wall over there. Okay. My babies are so cute. I love them so much. I'm that mom that literally would scream and holler at my kids and tell them how much I'm going to give them a whooping. But inside, be like, I wish I don't have to do all this. I wish they would just listen to me. But of course, I make my babies clean up. I mean, that is good to teach them at a very early age to learn to clean up after themselves. Because you don't want them to grow up to be people who are dirty or people who depend on someone else to do things for them. They just do it for themselves, you know? So I think really cleaning up shows, you know, just the independency of just keeping yourself, keeping the things that you have up, you know? So, yeah, they're little butts. And of course, I had to show my baby girl talking. She talks, she repeats everything that my son and my daughter does. She's just so cute. And this is me taking off the desk stuff. So uh, if you guys knew, I don't know if I ever did a video on it, but I did make my own at home schooling during the coronavirus, like the quarantine timings, and also just a little bit during the summer so I can teach my kids things. So to get them ready for just the school year coming up and just to teach them whatever they needed to know. So I actually had fun, but it's time for it to go and get my dining room back. My daughter loves TikTok. Ever since I downloaded it and showed her, she's just like, oh, I just love TikTok. Let's do TikTok. We do have a TikTok. It is Mommy Model 18 if anyone wants to follow it, but we don't do TikToks that often, honestly. My last TikTok was probably months ago because I'm just, for one, I haven't danced like really choreographed type dancing and that's a lot what tiktok is you got to practice the dancing i haven't did that in a long time since i had kids i became very what you call it lazy in a sense of i like to dance but i don't do choreographed dancings unless i already knew the dance basically and sorry if you hear me breathing so hard with this i'm not actually breathing hard i'm just making sure i take an actual breath in while i'm talking because i'm trying to talk you know as fast as possible before my next clip that comes up if I'm talking with the kids or whatever and I'm also trying not to mumble I have a tendency to actually mumble when I talk so I'm trying not to do that by pronouncing my words and just taking a breath as much as I could so and this and this mic actually picks up on all of that <laughs> Right here guys, what I'm doing is just organizing their hair stuff. I do separate the kids' um, brushes and combs and Ziploc bags because once you clean them out really good, um, I think putting in a Ziploc bag just keeps, you know, freshness, keeps from any like, you know, dust mites or anything, kind of bugs, whatever, from actually surviving in it because it is ziploc in. And, I don't know, that's just what I decided to do for my kids' um, hair product. I mean, their comb and brushes. Now, the products that they use on their hair is just like some detangler, 
Um, it's like a curl custard. I always use water. I have coconut oil right there that they can use for the hair and for their body. They're using right now the Dove Baby Lotion. Dove is alright when it comes down to the baby product. I like Dove for my personal soaps, but for kids, I don't know if they quite got it yet. I used to use Johnson & Johnson, but not anymore since they, you know, had this whole cancer thing going on. So I was like, yeah, no. But that's how I have their little setup in their room on their desk. Now I'm finished with the kids' room. Johnny has to straighten up her bed, of course. Um, I just decided to just go and clean up the rest of the house a little bit, tidying up here and there. I cleaned on top of my refrigerator um, because I haven't cleaned up there in a minute and I had a lot of stuff up there. So I decided to clean that stuff off and take it down and then I move on to my room. When I clean up, I'm literally everywhere. I'm from one room to another. If I have to take something to another room, I end up cleaning in that other room and then going back to where I started. So I actually did clean out the refrigerator first and take down the stuff that was on top of there. And I ended up going in my room and starting to straighten up and forgot that I was recording. So I kind of straightened up a little bit, but I ended up just remembering that I was <laughs> doing this video and I started, you know, going again into the room. These are my scarves that I'm folding up. I usually just toss them in that little blue thing. My closet is not like, it's organized to where I can understand it, where everything is at, of course, but there is no like organization system and how it looks. So everything is put into place and that's what I'm just showing you guys that it's clean, it's organized enough for me until I can figure out like baskets and stuff like that to really do with it. And then my bedroom, I'm not really too much worried about it because I did just change my sheets and I actually did, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> dust off my headboard and everything. Alright, you're going vacuum? Yeah. Good. Alright. But I shared the room with my baby girl so she tends to mess with my little flowers up there and just make a mess in the bed a lot so I'm not really worried about my room as long as my sheets are clean and fine that's all I'm worried about Okay, so I'm just gonna just straighten up my kitchen a tad bit. I'm just literally putting away all the school stuff that I had, um, just away, and putting away the things that I had on top of the refrigerator, which is like a lot of vitamins and stuff. But this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos. Also, comment below and let me know what you wanna see as well. I ended this video early because my daughter woke up, my baby girl, and she would not stop crying, so. I had to just finish this video out. So once again, thank you guys for watching and thank you for all my new subscribers. I have been seeing you guys and I really do truly appreciate it as well as all my subscribers who have been here. Thank you so much.